We're gonna try and get an early night tonight and head on out to Lady Musgrave. Keep this bearing, you're good. What is happening right now? <laughs> oh, we're just so stoked to be here. Yeah! Woohoo! Lady Musgrave! This defog smells minty fresh. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Slim and Surf. How did it die there? This is Slim. Three knots on the face, Skipper! I'm so the Skipper. Oh, and we have a fluffy crew member too, Chili. We live aboard our 1989 Duncanson 34. She may be vintage, but her glory days are far from over. Yay! We're taking her around Australia, exploring our beautiful Aussie backyard. We put new videos out every Monday, so subscribe. Come along with us. We've woken up early this morning to get back out on the water. Nah. We have spent the last two days in Burnet Heads cramming uni work and editing to buy ourselves a window to get out to Lady Musgrave Island, a place that has eluded us for years and we're determined not to let it slip by this time. Morning. That was such a beautiful night sail. I've missed night sailing. Sun's up now, we're doing six knots, but we've got the engine on. But this wind might set in and hopefully we can turn the engine off, but we'll see. this morning we probably pulled up anchor around 240 so we've had an early morning we did both manage to go down for an hour before the Sun came up I don't think either one of us really slept in that hour but it was just nice to warm up because it was it's so cold this morning I've got a jacket under this and this and yeah it's, it's a bit of a scene <laughs> my hair is so greasy don't look at it Breakfast. From Burnett Heads to Musgrave is a 55 nautical mile trip, about 10 or 11 hours. Situated as the second southernmost island in the Great Barrier Reef chain of islands, it's most likely a cruiser's first coral experience, as it is for us aboard Nakama. I just woke up from a sleep, which was really nice. We're about 12 nautical miles from the outside of Mosgrave, so not too far to go now. But the winds picked up a little bit, but of course exactly where we want to come from. So we're still motor sailing to help us point as high as we can. Um, we're not too far off our course, I think maybe a couple of degrees um, off, but yeah. So I've spotted something. A pancake in the sea. If you don't believe in fairy tales, if you don't believe We got the most beautiful hitchhiker. I think he said he wants to be dropped off at Musgrave. Yeah, he said something about heard I was a sick fisherman and he's coming along for the ride, I'll catch him a fish, something like He's so pretty, I love him. We'll name him Paul. Paul. Going to Musgrave first? Take a line of ball, hey! Wait, wait, wait! You can get your wallet! Let us back up! Look, he's coming in! Oh, streamline! Look at how beautiful he is! Not the furler, I need the head tail! I was just about to go and scare Paulie off because we want to use the head tail again. Um, wind's still dead on our nose, but we're going to come down a little bit just so we can get the speed up because we were doing really well and now we're like behind target. So. He's up on the deck again though, he like bailed and then came back. So I'm gonna go scare him away before I get the sail out. Hopefully he'll land up on the solar panels where he started. Paul left us. I think he figured out that he could fly faster than we're sailing right now. Well, 
not sailing. Literally motoring into the wind. <laughs> we fell back in the head sail because we figured out it'd be it's quicker if we just actually head towards the island, which is exactly where the wind's coming and just beat into it. So I think we're doing like four knots and we're like five and a half miles from the outside entrance. So we're still on schedule. We want to get there for slack water because apparently the tide roars out incoming and outgoing. So we want to get there as close as, as close to slack as we can so we don't have that roaring tide. Thank you. So we're sort of just about to turn into the channel. Just the entrance. So what you're looking at here is the narrow entrance into the Coral Cay. What feels like you're in the middle of nowhere, this beautiful surrounding reef makes for a perfect and protected anchorage. While the depth surrounding the reef quickly drops off to about 50 metres, the inside averages around 8. And between all the bombies, it's pretty good holding. Keep this bearing, you're good. We're in. <laughs> nice job, Skipper. It up. Just going to do a quick dive on the anchor, have a little cruise around in the tender to make sure there's no like weird outlying bombies, and then we'll be able to rest easy. I'm just going to put one clipper on. Oops. for miles and we were just joking about my like, fuck imagine because his outboard's been playing up imagine if he's just floating away somewhere anyway so I gets the binoculars out we see miles rowing way off in the distance so <laughs> i'm gonna surprise him but also because he doesn't know we're here so we're gonna surprise him by rescuing him all right Woohoo! Oh, gonna take me hat off all right we'll be there in a sec I just didn't put it on. We're just gonna go ashore and have a little look around, maybe have a couple of little sundowners and watch the sunset. It's off its head. What a place. Right, so Miles has already been here for like half a day, so we've got a tour guide. Whoop! <laughs> almost made it over the log, but then almost didn't. We've seen some trees, we've seen some birds, we've seen some dead birds. So I've found a log covered in coral. All oh, right, we're just so stoked to be here. I think we're gonna have a little sundowner on the beach. So excited to wake up in the morning and go for like a dive or a snorkel on the coral. Man, frothing to be here, can't explain. To the back and get this I can see 
I can snorkel better than I can walk. Yes. Say that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely yeah. snorkel better than I can I'm like, yeah. Tomorrow will be a good day. Just spend the day snorkeling. I'll be with a bunny chicken singing sweet and melody. Good morning! We have woken up at Lady Musgrave. We didn't that. go anywhere during the night, we're just still here. Um, we're getting straight into it this morning. Sort of, it's probably like 10 o'clock. Yeah, sort of straight into it. <laughs> we're going, we're gonna go try spear, we're gonna go for snorkel. Yeah, we're gonna go pick Miles up, grab him. The three of us are gonna pile in our little tender. And we're gonna go try and catch some lunch or dinner, or both. Excellent. All Let's right. get into we'll see it then. We'll see you there. Stop talking about it. <laughs> Man, this default smells minty fresh. Scarf. Yeah, she does do a good scarf. Really. Sometimes I think he's one of the best scarfs there is. try again or I don't even know if I'll get in the water. I'm taking this in case but I just want to have a peek at the other side and see how that looks. I was heard it might be alright over there. So see how we go. See it a bit. See it a bit. So me and Miles have come back to the beach because the beach beat us and the fish have evaded us so far. So I need to do some study. While the boys are trying to catch us a fish, I'm spending a little time doing some tasks I needed to do for university that I didn't do. And I thought I'd leave that to it. So, we are, I don't know, going to try somewhere different, I guess. It's fun, it's great. Hoping the boys bring us back something. Oh, little sharks in here. A morning song, Nakama. 
A morning song, a morning song, a morning song. This is Nakama, Nakama, Nakama. Over. You're crackling up a little bit, but go ahead, over. Don't know if I'm getting them. Is anybody out there? I think I've spotted Soph. I think Soph's being kidnapped. I'm gonna go see what's happening. Where are we going? Too easy. I'll spin around. Did you get anything? Going down. <laughs> That's true. So it's the wind's increased. It's. I'm sorry. I'm in a dressing gown. I feel like I'm what? turned into such an, a house goer with my dressing gown and slippers. The wind's windy tonight, so we're bunkered down. With this camera died, we ate some scones on. Went over for afternoon scones. Um, some a low boat. Turned into sundowners and then like <sighs> and now dinner we're, as yeah. well. Pretty much like it turned into pretty much dinner. So we're not gonna make dinner tonight because we're already full. Yeah. But we've been scouring my hard drive, looking in all my old files. Came across some other weird shit. We found a movie on a hard drive, and we don't know what it is. It's called. I think it's called. Yeah. It comes in the night. Oh. We don't know what. Here comes the night. Chili don't. comes in the night too to purr on me and. We, we don't know what to expect with this, but we've poured ourselves a little a nip of, of glass of red wine. Now I'll be scared of Chili. Like, what if she's coming in? Like, when I hear noise, it's it. Chili's <laughs> occupied in her forex box. Oh, Chili said we can't have any more beers. She said you got you got to have. That's why I'm having wine because Chili's in the beer box. Chili, just one. I just want one more beer. Said we've had enough. We've started drinking wine boxes. Student life, but we're not drinking that horrible stuff. We're drinking, look, Bay and Rock, it's got a picture of a tree on it. I mean, that's pretty classy for a goon box, if you ask me. Um, two litres. Four litres is when you need to start worrying about us. If we start buying wine by the four litre. There might be some people on here that drink four litre goon boxes. We're not far And we off respect it. you for that. Yeah, you, be, you do you. But chili won't fit in that box at least. No, she'd fit in a four litre. Maybe we should move to the four litres. Always thinking about chili. It's, it. it's not my alcoholism, it's the cat. It's for the cat. Anyway. <sighs> I don't know. What's the movie? Dad, can you hear me? Thanks for watching guys, tune in next week as the Lady Musgrave saga continues. A turn in the weather leads to our worst night on Anchor yet. It's wild man! And we can't wait to escape. We'll see you then.